Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at the dictate feature that comes with PowerPoint. It comes with PowerPoint that is part of Office 365. So if you don't see the dictate feature, you've probably got the wrong version or haven't got the version that has it as default. So on the Home tab, you can see on the right hand side, Dictate. Now, if you drop the arrow down, you get lots of different options, different languages that you can dictate in. So obviously mine is set to English, United Kingdom, and you can see how the other languages sit there. The most common ones, I suppose, are at the top, and then you've got quite a few other ones further down, all the way down to Thai. So not every language in the world, but quite a few are sitting there. Now, when you click it, you can see the little symbol appears and it is now typing on the screen what I say. So I don't want any of this, so I'll just click that off for a second. Get rid of all that. Now if you hover over the actual dictate button, you can get into help. I'll just do that. And then it gives you some options tells you what to do and uh, you've got dictate documents there and there's a link to powerpoint where you can see some of the key commands that you can use or word commands that you can use um, as you're talking when you've got dictate active so if you're not very quick at typing this is quite a useful tool however you do need to get a grip of how you do full stops for example commas question marks so this list here is quite a useful list and as you go down you can see the different things there so what I will do is I'll just click into this box and uh, in fact I'll get myself a different slide actually I'll click into into there so you've already got a a bullet list there now you do have to intervene a little bit with the keyboard and I will probably use a few key commands to navigate down through the boxes like Control enter will just bring you down into a new box and control control enter again will bring you to a new slide. So but for this little example it doesn't really matter. So I'll put dictate on and start saying some of these words and you can see how it works. Comma. So it typed the word comma and then it changed it to the comma symbol. New line. So it did new line, and then it did an actual new line, so it snapped down to it. New line. Colon. You see how it changed that over? Now if I come down this side a little bit, I'll say a few more things. Forward slash. New line. My name is Steve Saxton. Full stop. Get myself a new page. Now, this is the title, and then Control Enter to come down to a new slide. Obviously, you've got to be careful that you're not talking while you are doing this. Full stop. New line. So we have hyphen. Give me a little hyphen. And then you've got percent sign. Percent sign. You've got plus. Plus sign. You need to say plus sign. To get the plus. And then you've got currencies further down. Dollar, dollar sign. And pound sign. Now that give me a hash pound sterling sign. There we go. You can also type in the in the notes area. One two three. One two three. One two three. New line. This video is about. The Battle of Waterloo. Full stop. Wellington versus Napoleon. 
full stop. 18th of June, 1815, full stop. Now just take this off for a second. So you can see that it's quite good, it's not perfect. You've still got to go back and edit things and fix things as you're going through um, your slides. But like I've already said, if you are very slow at typing, then this is quite useful to do. And it's also available in Outlook and Word. So this is um, just some of the things you can do. You have a few more features in Word. Um, you can delete things by saying delete commands, but this is PowerPoint. So hopefully that was of use to you. And thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.